Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing yet another five best and five worst, which is basically where I talk about my five favorite and my five at least favorite products from a specific makeup category. So you guys requested very highly, might I add, for me to do concealers. So that is what we're going to be doing today. So definitely do not forget to leave me your next request in the comments down below and whatever gets the most requests, I will definitely do in my next five best and five worst. Also, before I start, quick disclaimer, I just wanna say that if you you love a concealer that I dislike or if you dislike a concealer that I absolutely love that's totally okay like I always say different products work for different people what floats my boat may not float yours so I just want you guys to keep that in mind so I really hope you guys enjoy this video and do find it helpful do not forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy these types of videos and of course subscribe if you're not subscribed already and without further ado let's get into it it was honestly very difficult for me to choose my five favorite concealers because there are a lot of concealers that I do really enjoy. So the ones that I did pick out today are truly like right at the top of my list. They're the ones that I would highly recommend to absolutely everybody. So let's start off with the Tarte Shape Tape. Now I'm sure so many of you are so sick of hearing about this concealer because it is so incredibly hyped up on YouTube and social media and honestly just everybody is talking about it. And sometimes when makeup is talked about like a lot on social media to a certain extent you almost become a little bit weary because you're not really sure why all these people are talking about this product but i could ensure you that there is a very good reason why everybody is talking about the tarte shape tape and it is because it is just so freaking good. It's so good that if I were to ever create a concealer, I would want it to be exactly like this one because it honestly has all the properties that I would want a concealer to have. Firstly, it is very full coverage. If you did not sleep whatsoever the night before, you could apply this underneath your eyes and honestly, it will completely erase any darkness that's left over there without actually making your under eyes look ashy. Because sometimes really full coverage concealers, even though it may cover up that darkness, it will almost leave like a little bit of like a shadow still underneath your eyes, which is obviously not what you want. You want your concealer to brighten up. Now, another reason why this concealer is so good is because of the consistency of it. It's a liquid concealer, but it's also thick enough that it's not going to sort of go everywhere where you don't want it to go. And again, even though this is a full coverage concealer, it does not look heavy or cakey or like you're wearing too much makeup underneath your eyes. So those are all the reasons why the Tarte Shape Tape is right at the top of my list. So now moving on to, yeah, another concealer that you always hear people talk about it's an oldie but it's a goodie and I think it's definitely one of the best at the drugstore and it is the Maybelline instant age rewind dark circle eraser the one that I have is actually the neutralizer shade which is more of like a yellow based concealer but they do also have like skin toned ones as well so this is the concealer that I'm actually wearing underneath my eyes today and it is just so good. It is totally comparable to higher end concealers. Besides the fact that this actually does cover up the dark circles underneath your eyes, I really do love the consistency. It's really nice because it has a very lightweight consistency, so it doesn't feel too heavy underneath the eyes, and you really are able to apply a little bit of product that goes a long way. You do not need to like pile this on to actually get coverage. I would almost compare it to the Tarte Shape Tape. It doesn't really have uh, so much of like the same consistency, but it has the same effect of just covering up your dark circles without having that ashy shadow underneath your eyes and without looking too heavy or too cakey. It is just so awesome. Definitely at the top of my list, especially for the drugstore. So the last two concealers that we spoke about were a little bit more on the fuller coverage side. Now I have a concealer over here that is not full coverage. I would say it's almost like a light to medium coverage and this is the concealer that I like to wear when I am not wearing a ton of makeup on a particular day and I don't want something that's so full coverage that it will look weird if I'm wearing like minimal makeup on the rest of my face so this is the bare minerals bare skin complete coverage serum concealer so the reason why I really like this product is because of how just beautiful it looks because my skin is fairly dry my under eyes get equally dry especially in the winter times I I like it when my under eyes just look hydrated and this concealer really does make my under eyes look hydrated it almost gives my under eyes like a little bit of a glow which i do really like so i think this is a really great concealer to check out especially if you want more of a medium coverage more hydrating formula now when it gets to the point where it honestly feels like i have not really slept in the past 13 days i take out this bad boy this is the it cosmetics bye bye under eye probably one of the best concealers i've ever used this is a very thick concealer like I'm not joking when I say that it is 
thick and not only is it thick but it's also extremely um, concentrated so you really only need a very small amount like I'm talking a pinpoint amount for both of your under eyes this product is truly like a magic eraser for underneath the eyes it really does get rid of any and all darkness that's there you cannot use this concealer without setting it because if you do not set it it will crease like crazy it will crease within seconds of applying it so I would suggest that as soon as you apply this product you do want to set it with a thin layer of powder just to make sure that it's locked in place if you have more mature skin it is not really the best to use very very creamy and very thick concealers underneath the eyes just because those types of concealers really do settle like in the fine lines however my mom is 50 something and she has been using this product for years and still loves it and the reason why I think this is still a good product for more mature skin is because even though it is more of a thicker formula it spreads out very easily and you're really able to thin it out if you want to especially when applied with a damp beauty sponge which is how I would recommend applying it so I just want to put that out there in case you do have mature skin and you're wondering if this is right for you now the last concealer that I want to talk about is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer this is another product that so many people have been speaking about on YouTube and on social media but honestly, like I said, it's for a good reason. This is a really great product. To put it very simply, what I really like about this product is that it really does give a nice medium to full coverage without being heavy underneath the eyes. So if you don't want something that's quite as full coverage as a Tarte Shape Tape, but you still like the fact that the concealer is really nice and lightweight, then I would say that this is a really great option. So that is it for my five favorite concealers. Now I still do have two other concealers that I want to talk about because I really just honestly could and help myself and I do think that they're really for specific needs so I felt like I could justify talking about two more so the first one that I wanted to mention is the makeup forever full cover concealer this is probably the most full coverage concealer that I own you could easily cover up a tattoo with this product like it is pigmented and it is really concentrated. I would definitely not recommend this product for underneath the eyes, but I would recommend it for around the face. Now this product isn't really a liquid concealer. It's much more of like a cream concealer in a squeezy tube. So it is very nice and thick. So when you apply it on wherever you want to like cover up, like let's say you want to cover up a blemish, it will actually stay put where you put it. So it's not going to slide around. Whereas if you were to use more of a liquidy concealer, like something like the Urban Decay naked skin for example as soon as you apply it and start to blend it out it's going to sort of slip around a little bit and it's going to be a little bit more difficult to actually get that coverage where you want it so that is why I really want to recommend the makeup forever full cover for any type of facial covering that you want to do just not underneath the eyes so my second honorable mention is the glossier stretch concealer it looks like this it comes in a little tub so this concealer has very light coverage so I like to use concealers like these when I am I'm having a no makeup day but I sort of want a little something to cover up my dark circles but I honestly don't want to look like I'm actually wearing makeup this is the product for you if you are like me and that is what you like to do as well because this gives you a little bit of coverage it still brightens up underneath the eyes and it takes away some of the darkness it truly just melts into the skin and looks so incredibly natural and just so beautiful and honestly like you're wearing just nothing and that is why I really want to mention it because it is just such a great product and it's one that I use very very often so that is it for all of my favorite concealers so now let's move on to what I'm sure a lot of you are really waiting for and those are my five least favorite concealers all right so the first concealer that I have here that I would have to say to probably avoid is the Stila Aqua Glow Serum Concealer. Now, I remember first buying this and just being really excited about it because I do have the Aqua Glow Foundation and I do really enjoy the foundation. It makes my skin look really nice and glowy and it's super lightweight. So I thought, hmm, I like the foundation. I probably will enjoy the concealer. Wrong. First of all, let's start off with this weird applicator. I'm not really sure why they chose this applicator it's just a little bit weird and it makes it a little bit difficult to actually get the product out but the product itself was sort of the real problem it had no coverage it's as simple as that i would apply and apply and apply and it would be like i wasn't applying anything and it's not like the glossier concealer where it gives you a little bit of coverage um, because i like that it just gave me nothing. I found that it also sort of stuck to dry patches, so I get this like weird concentration of concealer in some places, and then it would be absolutely nothing in others. The consistency was way too watery, so it just 
didn't really stay where I want it to stay. And that is why this concealer is right at the bottom of my list. Now moving on to the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. Now this concealer is a little bit strange because I feel like I have a very big love-hate relationship with it. There's been times where I've loved it. There's been times where I've hated it. And I sort of have just come to the conclusion that I just really don't like it. The reason why I do not like this concealer is because of how thick it is. And it's not even like the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye where it's thick, but then it sort of just melts into the skin afterwards. Whenever I apply this concealer, I always find that it just seems like it's just sitting on top of my skin and not actually sort of melting into it or blending into it. It's really just there. And I don't really like that about it. I also find that it really does attach to so many of my dry patches. And I also find that sometimes this concealer like flakes throughout the day. It's the weirdest thing because I've never had this experience with any other concealer. Let me know in the comments if anybody else has experienced that. I used to like it because I used to sort of like the coverage that it gives and it does give good coverage, but I just don't like the way it looks underneath the eyes. I find it's too thick, too cakey, and just not very good. This next concealer is the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer. I had like this vision of this concealer just being the most magical concealer that I've ever tried just because it's called like the Aqua Luminous Concealer. So I really thought that it would make my under eyes have that really nice like hydrated glow that I really like. But this just did not make my dreams come true, unfortunately. It is very similar to the Stila Aqua Glow Concealer in that you could like apply this and it just doesn't do anything. Like it gives you zero coverage. And if you have any dryness whatsoever underneath your eyes, this will stick to it and it'll accentuate it. And I just find even though it is so lightweight, it, it almost looks cakey, which is so strange to me. So I just don't find that this works very well. And I think that something like the Bare Mineral Serum Concealer is a way better option. Now, another one of my least favorite concealers is the YSL Touche Clat. Now, the reason why I want to mention this bad boy, not really because it's bad, because it's not really a bad concealer per se. It does what it's meant to do. It is supposed to be more of like a highlighting pen where it sort of just is supposed to brighten up underneath your eyes um, and give you just a little bit of coverage. And it does do that and it looks fine underneath the eyes. But I think to spend 50 something dollars on a highlighting pen that gives you no coverage is just crazy to me because I feel like there are so many comparable items, not only even just cheaper ones from Sephora, but from the drugstore. That is why this is definitely at the bottom of my list, just because I do not think it is worth the price at all. Now my last least favorite concealer is the Too Faced Born This Way. This is another concealer that I had really high hopes for. I had dreams of just the two of us just getting along so well, but it just didn't happen. I tried this so many times, really trying to make it work, but it just really never did. I found that it just never gave me the coverage that I wanted it to give me. Um, I always found that it sort of made my under eyes look ashy because it sort of gave me that weird in-between coverage where it covered but didn't cover enough so you still saw some darkness peeking through and it made my under eyes look really just like gray and i also just found that it was a little bit dry so it didn't really mesh well with the dry patches that are underneath my eyes and i do think that there are so many other concealers out there that just perform a lot better so that is why this is at the bottom of my list so that is it for my five best and five worst concealers i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful don't forget to let me know in the comments what your favorite concealer is and definitely let me know what your least favorite concealer is these videos always make for really good comment sections because it almost becomes like a form where you can go to get really awesome recommendations and where you get um recommendations of products that you should probably stay away from. So definitely leave all of your comments down there. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm here with my boyfriend, David. You have met him before on my